Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Sean versus Lemmy situation. And Krishan is even saying that Papa Diddy put hands on Lemmy too. Said Diddy had to check Lemmy about her money. And um, we'll talk about that as well. So we're going to watch this video really quick of Krishan talking about Lemmy owes her money. Krishan, see, Krishan is a joke at this point. The money is not money and all her antics, all her foolishness is starting to wear down. The people don't care anymore. So now she's starting to quote unquote realize her worth. And she wants money now. She feels like, you know, she should be paid handsomely for her foolishness. So we're going to go ahead and watch this. Do that. It is. I mean, I was going to, but I'm starting to stick to, um, if somebody's not paying me my value or like, if you want to pay the fee for me to pull up, that's cool. I'm not pulling up there. But I hate that for um, us young black women, we're not really getting valued in this industry. So when you do say a price, they do try to play. So my advice to that is to pray. And be like, hey, God, get him. Because as soon as I say what I said, I start praying. Like, I don't know what this is, but... They better pay me my rate. If not, Lord, let them know. Like, you know, like, because I don't, I really don't know how you get past um, that thing in the entertainment business when you know your value and your worth. So when you give somebody your price and they don't want to pay it, it's kind of like, I don't know. You feel me? Did they not pay me enough to be one of like, I know what the fuck is gonna go down and how it's gonna go down and what's gonna be brought up. I need to get paid for all that. Like, you feel me? And I be humble. I've been fucking with uh, Zeus for a couple of years now, but just gotta elevate. That's why, like, I won't do that unless I get the subscription. Like, I want the back. What the fuck? What is your problem? Right back. See, that's why Diddy jacked your ass up that day. When we was at the party, he grabbed me. <laughs> He grabbed Lemmy by his collar and was like, don't ever play with that girl ever again. Talk about me. Like, don't ever play with her. Like, like, because you don't play with their budget, play with talent. Like, y'all are playing with me. Like, <laughs> with her. Like, don't play with her. All she needs is love. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. And I didn't understand that till my checks start coming back short from the subscriptions of Crazy in Love. Till he start putting people, like personally putting people that doesn't me that I had like street beef with on the show. Um, where's the security at when all them people thought at like it was just like, come on, yo, you playing, you playing, and I'm I'm so happy I ain't like you got jacked up for that shit already. So. I'm not finna be playing with this entertainment industry and, and be doing shit, y'all, putting the network on, and then all y'all do is just my face. I don't give a fuck about two clicks of two clicks. The fuck? Y'all want the two clicks, so pay that two click. If you want the clickbait, pay the money. But you have what I'm asking for, bro. And that's respectfully. I'm telling you, bro, like... This, like, should I real live? So we go back and forth in the messages. Why are you texting me? I, I said, why are you going on the internet? He's like, because you really went and said, I didn't say you specifically, Lemmy. I said, Zeus Network can't afford me. Because y'all know what y'all doing, bro. Y'all trying to, like, you know what I'm talking about. You want to, but you want to use the, the star to, y'all just.
Okay, so this is what Lemby wrote. Uh, let me pause this real quick. He says, if y'all only knew how much we paid our content partners, talent, etc., you'd be blown away. We pay significantly more than traditional networks, BT, VH1, Bravo, etc. Let's talk about it. <laughs> bad for her at all bitch near 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 at all and i hate when when people want to come to a realization we've been saying this for the past two years you are out here acting a fool you're gonna eventually regret this these folks are using you and now that the checks are not checking now that the money is not money in all of a sudden, you know, she realizes her worth and, you know, just pray about it. And I just, I be asking God, leave God out of this. Like, stop bringing up God every time you're upset about something. Every time you're being held accountable, she wants to go on this God rant. Why is she even comparing, like, what she does to, like, actors like Taraji and things like that? Like, I see Taraji being upset and crying, you know, her not getting paid because she's actually acting. You know, she went to school for this. You have literally been blessed to make all this money for acting a fool. Not that you went to school to act, you're getting paid to act a fool. And now that the money's not money in, you're upset. And then she's talking about, oh, Diddy, you know, checked him and Diddy choked him out and was like, just show her love. Let me tell you something about Papa Diddy, okay? He didn't check Lemmy because he cared about you, fool. He checked Lemmy to make himself look good to you. That was a part of the grooming process. Trust and believe if he wouldn't have been called out by Cassie, you'd probably be one of his little freak offs too, okay? So Diddy wasn't sticking his neck out for you out of his own kindness of his heart, because we all know his heart is black. He was doing that so he could hit. Probably have you in a threesome with him and Carisha, okay? So let's not give Papa Diddy that much credit. Now, again, this whole situation is a mess. And I'm going to say this. I don't feel bad for Lemmy at all. Um, I can respect the business, right? Because I get it. You can't just blame him and be like, oh, well, he puts on, you know, this show. It's trashy. These girls literally come out in droves to audition. Um, Zeus Network has rejuvenated a lot of washed up people's careers. Let's keep that real. And they've been getting a bag. And he's not lying because when it was a Christian network, when he was doing like the real pastors of LA and all that Christian stuff, nobody was checking for it. But once him and Natalie Nunn came up with baddies, you know, the subscriptions flew off the handle, right? But Lemmy, you got to understand this, sir. And you know this because you're the pastor's son. The devil always comes home to collect, okay? You literally sold your soul because you know what you're doing and what you're perpetuating and what you're behind, it's not cool. You wouldn't want your daughters to act like Krishan. You wouldn't want your daughters behaving in the way that a lot of these young girls, our daughters, our nieces, our little cousins are acting because unfortunately they have stupid ass gentle parenting, millennial, you know, Gen Z parents, or Gen X parents, whatever. And they're watching these shows with their five, six, seven, eight-year-old kids. And now you have all these kids who are out here fighting. They're talking like the baddies. They're popping their neck. They're, all they want to do is fight. The schools are in chaos. Gen Alpha is in chaos. And we can thank not just your programming, not just Zeus. I don't want to just blame the black man and Zeus. We can also thank VH1, and BET, and, you know, just a lot of this nonsense. You know, even the white folks, don't you know, we're not going to just shit on the black folks, uh, the real housewives. You know, some of them franchises have gotten very, very ratchet and low class. Look how many scammers were on the Beverly Hills franchise. So, you know, unfortunately, these shows do affect this generation of kids. And I'm eventually do like a, a reaction. I'm going to start doing more reaction videos. I know people have been asking for that in the new year. Um, I really want to talk about, because that Sephora uh, podcast that me and Emily did the other day, it really, I went down this rabbit hole with Gen Generation Alpha, and it is really scary. These kids are just, whew. 
These are our future baddies and bad boys. And it's sad. So, you know, he wants to say that, oh, everybody's hating and he paid folks well and they're just mad because they're not getting checks anymore. It's deeper than that. These are the seeds that you planted, okay? And now the harvest is coming home. The chickens are coming home to roost. So you thought that you could have a show filled with narcissistic women who are manipulative, who are violent. All they care about is materialism. They're rude, they're disrespectful to each other. See, as long as they were disrespecting each other and fighting each other, it was cute. Yeah, we're here for it, you and your wife. Because your wife is the host. Okay? As long as y'all was able to get a bag off of, and I'm sorry, a lot of these women on this show come off to me as mentally ill. I don't think they're all there mentally. And this is not me trying to be a psychologist and diagnose people, but some of these chicks seem very, very off their rocker. The things that they get mad at, there was some bitch on there just drunk as a skunk constantly. Uh, the big, thick, light-skinned girl with the big old ass with all the tattoos who just like, she just beat up Scotty for no reason. She would just be flipping out. Just, so what the hell's wrong with her? And they kept her on this show. Y'all can write her name down. I forgot her name. The big thick one. This was like maybe two seasons ago. Just crazy. Just a crazy drunk. What was it? Razor. Thank you. That was her name. Thank you, Cameron. Razor. Crazy as cat shit. Bitch would just drink all day and just wake up. Ready to fight. I'm like, this is not normal. So I just find it very interesting that it was okay when these girls were getting drunk as a skunk and fighting each other and disrespecting each other. But now that your baddies are turning on you, now it's all this, oh, Lord Jesus, I didn't even do nothing wrong. I paid them well. Everybody's hating. No, uh-uh, no, uh Keep God out y'all's mess. I don't feel bad for him at all. These are your chickens coming. These are your chicken heads coming home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's why I tell folks all the time, do not look at these shows, these reality TV people and, and you know, want to emulate them or feel like, you know, they're living the life. It's a facade. Once they yell cut and the lights go out and, you know, the cameras are off, they got to live with that. They got to live with that stigma. You know, it's not cute. And Krishan is seeing that now. Nobody's going to book her in real life for anything. Even today, you got to ask yourself, why does all this darkness follow this girl? You know, she's always screaming about God, but honey, what God are you actually worshiping? Because this it's a lot of darkness that follows you. Let me share my screen. This is what DJ Sky, this is uh, Krishan Rock's friend and babysitter. DJ Sky going to write this shit. This is why I keep my kitty to myself all 2024. Y'all ain't clocking none on me. Girl, shut up. We fucked them first. So now let me let me go ahead and put in Krishan because you know she's trending. She's always trending on uh, Twitter. Krishan. I'm not used to the, this new keyboard. Look at this mess. It's always, it's always something going on with this girl. It's just darkness follows. And she just thinks it's cute. She really thinks it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was... Okay, so this is some type of ghetto dating show. Um, I think it's on YouTube. It's called 21. So like 21 people come up and you get to pick one of the 21 to date. So, like, all these men are vying for Krishan's attention for some reason, um, I guess. So, all of a sudden, some guys come up there and pistol whip one of the contestants. So, that's what she's talking about. And this is the video here. So, they're speeding it up. So they take the footage and they start a whole fight. Disgusting. 
I don't want to show too much because you know YouTube censorship. I'm trying to find the video of her talking. I think both of them is my It's different. Oh, true. Mike, you know you're not supposed to be doing this. You're asking Christian for me. Cuba Christian for me. No, I told you no. The fuck, fuck wrong with you? And you go, but actually, shoot. Like, what the fuck? They want to get our money. Hey, 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 hey